On Wednesday, May 21, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 4,731,458 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally, with 316,169 deaths. Within the region of the Americas, a total of 2,082,945 confirmed cases were recorded. To date, this is a significant marker in the global response to COVID-19. As the World Health Organization notes, this is the largest single-day increase of cases globally. This highlights the continued threat to human health and the level of vigilance which is required in the public health response to COVID-19. St. Lucia continues to record no additional confirmed cases of COVID-19. On May 21st, 2020, a batch of 40 tests conducted were all negative. This brings our total of national testing to date to 867 tests. Thursday, March 21st, is the 18th consecutive day since we have recorded a confirmed case of COVID-19. This is quite encouraging results for us at the Ministry of Health and certainly for the entire country. However, we should not allow this trend to cause us to become complacent. The reduced numbers in testing for this week is attributed to the reduced number of persons accessing care at the respiratory clinics. We also note a reduced number of persons with respiratory signs and symptoms. We would like to remind the public that the respiratory clinics remain open. The access of care at our respiratory clinics by persons who experience flu-like symptoms was one of the key means through which we were able to promptly identify persons who fit the case definition of COVID-19, test, isolate, and some were confirmed for COVID-19. These persons were also put into care in a timely manner. We encourage every individual who is experiencing flu-like symptoms to access these respiratory clinics. The service is free to the user and all COVID-19 related care is free of charge to the individual. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we once again ask the public to work with us to reduce the impact of COVID-19. Remain proactive and on high alert. By doing so, we do not only protect our health but that of every citizen and by doing so we can keep our entire nation safe. Every individual can make us push further along in overcoming COVID-19. Our request remains simple. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water or use hand sanitizer when hand washing is not possible. Cover your cough and sneeze, adhere to the six foot physical distancing guideline and wear your homemade mask when going out. The Ministry of Health and Wellness, we will continue providing you with regular updates on COVID-19.